Jesus. This is nuts. This is nuts, bro. The build's insane. What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back. We are on the last few hours of the Diablo 4 beta, and we have just been workshopping so many builds, and I'm so excited to bring you this uh, Blood Mist build, which is just absolutely insane. The build is just amazing. You decimate everything on the field. It's it's insane. It's so strong. It's, it's arguably one of the most OP builds for the Necromancer in the game. So let's go over everything that you need and how to play it. So first, we're going to go with Decompose. Uh, tears the flesh from an enemy dealing a lot of damage but more importantly we're forming an, a usable corpse every two and a half seconds we have enhanced decompose so when an enemy dies we get 10 essence back and then we have our minions deal even more damage uh, to enemies that are being decomposed this is a corpse explosion pet build so after that we're going to go down to core skills we have zero the only thing that we're taking in core skills is hewed flesh with the lucky hit, your damage has up to 12% chance to create a corpse at the target's location. And this chance is doubled against bosses. We need corpses for this build to work. So that's why we have it. Now down to the bread and butter. The corpse in, what is that, Macabre skills. We have five in Blood Mist. Blood Mist disperses. We disperse into a big Blood Mist. We move around and, and just absolutely destroy. This makes us uh, invulnerable or excuse me, immune, and then casting the skill overpowers. When we do, we get 2% uh, cooldown reduction when we're using this. Then we have enhanced casting, it gives us the overpower. And then blood mist, ghastly blood mist, leaves behind a corpse every one second. So while we're blood misting around, not only are we blowing up the cor corpses that we have on there, we're generating one to help trigger the corpse explosion even more. Now next we have five ranks into corpse explosion. Corpse Explosion detonates a corpse, dealing a crap ton of damage. We have Enhanced Corpse Explosion, which increases the radius by 15%. And then we take Plague Corpse Explosion, so it deals 10% increased damage to enemies that are slowed, stunned, or vulnerable. And then the bonus stacks. So we'll talk about why we're taking both of these in just a second. Next, we have Skeletal Warrior Mastery 2 ranks, because we need our pets to stay alive. Then we come down here and we take Grim Harvest, so every time we consume a corpse, we gain three essence back. And then we have Fueled by Death, dealing 4% increased damage for four seconds after consuming. So as we're floating around, dealing so much damage from each corpse that we ignite, that damage just stacks and we just absolutely destroy, obliterate everything on the board. Then we come down to our curse skills. We're only gonna have one, which is Decaprify. We have this, which on an AOE makes them slow which in turn allows us to do more damage to enemies that are slow. This is really good. This is a great curse skill to stack on there. Then of course we have Skeletal Mage Mastery, increasing the damage and life of our Skeletal Mages by 30%. We need this to keep them alive so that way we can constantly be generating corpses. That's the other big way guys that our build generates corpses is from our minions. That's why it's a minions corpse explosion build. Then we come down, we have nothing in the next and then we have nothing in our ultimates. We have no more skills that we take. Your pets and decompose. Yeah, but if you're fighting a boss, the pets don't make them unless you kill somebody, right? Yeah, the pets only make corpses if they kill somebody. But let's say you're fighting the boss. Oh, no, they just make them? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, the Reapers do. That's right, that's right. You're right, that's right, because they tear the flesh off. That's right, that's right. Dorian, welcome. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what we got for the boss. Goodbye. Bye bye, boss. Now, there is some key items that you guys are going to need for the build. The main one is this. Blood Mist triggers corpse explosion on surrounding corpses. When Blood Mist detonates a corpse, its cooldown has been reduced by almost three seconds. So the reason that we took corpse explosion before is because when Blood Mist triggers it with that ability, 
it triggers all the bonuses that we have from corpse explosion which makes this build absolutely insane so that is why we're running it so this is the main uh legendary aspect that you need there is a few more that are going to help but you don't necessarily need them next your maximum number of skeleton mages is increased by two this really really helps uh next the basic skills just give us damage reduction that's okay you don't need it uh, each time one this is the other main one is each time one of your summoning minions damages an enemy they get gain attack speed for up to three seconds up to 42 percent this is going to help us kill enemies generate corpses boom you get it so after that we have consuming a corpse has a chance to drop a blood orb which you see right here on the screen and then this thing heals us boom we gain life back it's not necessary it's not required you don't need it but it helps Next, we have gain armor every time we deal uh, any form of damage. So we should always have 50% armor increase. Then we have basic skills uh, attack 44% faster. So when we, we're, we're using decompose, helps us generate more corpses. Then we have consuming a corpse, increases the damage of our next core skill, which would be anything, but we have zero core skills. So you don't necessarily need this one. Then we have critical strikes with core skills, increase attack speed. Again, we don't need it. So that is the build, guys. You really only need Blood Mist Triggers Corpse Explosion, and then you need the uh, increased summoning minion damage and attack speed. This is really, really important. Those two, otherwise the build is absolutely complete. You guys have seen it. We absolutely destroy everything, even though we have an attack power of 272. So the build is crazy. Now, the last couple things, guys, is into your Book of the Dead. So you need Skeletal Reapers, second one, because they have a 15% chance when they're hitting an enemy to spawn a corpse now especially when you're fighting bosses you have no corpse so this helps with that our skeletal mages are cold with the first one so each time uh, they deal damage we get essence back you could always opt for bone and then go each time a mage dies but we're not worried about them dying dying they shouldn't be dying and then next we have golem's bone so that way when the bone golem takes up to 20 percent of its max life it sheds a corpse so that is our book of the dead guys we have them all down here blood mist is absolutely insane you just float around and destroy everything it's such a strong build you take no damage and you just blow up the entire board i want to give a big shout out to you guys the community big shout out to vincent my boy down in chat help me with this build everybody else helped big shout out to everybody for all the love on help creating this build it's absolutely insane i love it so thank you guys so much so guys that is the blood mist corpse explosion build it's a minion corpse explosion build i really enjoy it like the video if you guys have enjoyed it comment down below what do you guys think about this and let's just talk about how we make the necromancer even more like more op so that way nobody really ever plays barbarian or druid so comment how much we want to do that so we can get it off the blizzard so they can make the buffs and don't forget to subscribe guys as always stay gaming catch you guys in the next one peace